During this exceptionally challenging period, African American communities are facing multiple pandemics, resulting in considerable challenges for both established businesses and budding entrepreneurs. The Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference is addressing these challenges by hosting our 18th and first fully virtual conference, offering the opportunity to expand your business's visibility, market reach, and ability to thrive during these exceptional times. In, in this virtual space, our impact is greater and even more powerful. The Umoja Marketplace Exhibitor Package includes immediate exposure through February 28, 2021, private online customization room to showcase products and services, self-designed exhibitor page, add your logo, information, links, and videos, 24-7 access for clients and scheduling, opportunity for vendor-based presentations, request information button, page visitor analytics, and professional technical assistance. We are expecting over 2,000 conference attendees and 12,000 visitors, including seminarian, HBCU student, global, and congregational engagement. As a non-governmental organization and NGO, we reach thousands of persons of faith and goodwill, and our voice is even present at the United Nations. Become an exhibitor today. Visit our website, sdpconference.com. Dot info. January 5th is election day in Georgia. If you live in Georgia, we encourage you to vote in remembrance of our ancestors past. We encourage you to vote in responsibility of ourselves today. And we encourage you to vote to reclaim hope for our future generations. Let's honor the legacy of our prophetic preaching elders by using our votes to continue to resist evil. If you live in Georgia, please plan to vote on January 5th. Amen and Ashe. Celebrate Kwanzaa virtually with us every night, December the 26th to January the 1st, as we will have one service each evening, starting at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, in honor of the principles of the day. What's happening, Proctor family? I have a big question for you. Have you registered to attend the 2021 Proctor Annual Conference yet? If not, now is your time to purchase your ticket before the first ever virtual annual convening. And why now? because we want you to catch the December 31st deadline before ticket prices increase. We wanna save you some money. For the remainder of the month, you can catch registration costs as low as $165 for general ticket admission, $135 for current seminary students, and as low as $110 for our sisters and brothers joining us from all across the globe. And on January 1st, all those prices are going to increase. If you have not purchased your ticket, we urge you right now to make your way over to our website, sdpconference.info. Secure your spot for the 2021 Proctor Annual Conference today, right now. We look forward to seeing you in our virtual conference space on February 22nd, the 25th, 21. Amen. Good morning. Happy Kwanzaa and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference Service of Daily Prayer and Song. Today is Thursday, December 31st, and whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful you joined us for the last morning of 2020. And again, we want you to visit our website at stpconference.info. And we would like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And you can do so by texting SDPC to the number 84576. We promise your information is safe with us. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to the service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909-318. 7011. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Mark Thompson. Thank you, Reverend Webb. For everything 
there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear to, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds, yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in all their toil. Lord, we invoke your presence once again, gathered by this, gather, we gather plagued by this pandemic and by this police-demic. We gather to pray for the many who've outrun us already home to glory, and we pray for peace for their loved ones and peace and healing for the sick, whether they suffer from physical or mental illness, and we know that mental illness is on the rise. Lord, please provide for the poor, the hungry, and the homeless. They're on the rise, too. Protect those on the front line of the pandemic, and please protect those in the line of fire of the police-demic. We know that this has been a difficult time, a time of a time in 2020. And as we say goodbye to this year, and we'll begin to welcome a new one, we pray that this will be a time for us to heal. We pray that soon the time to refrain from embracing will end. Please bless our prayer warrior this morning. Please bless our minister of music this morning. We're thankful for them. And please have our ancestors zoom into this very room to whisper to our ears how they made it over, how they survived the challenges of their time as well on this special day for our people this day of watch night as we look to the hills from whence cometh our help and look for our freedom and our liberation every year we pray in the names of these beloved ancestors we pray upon their shoulders and we pray in the righteous and powerful name of jesus the black christ and all the people of god said together ashe and amen. God bless you all. Good morning to you. Uh, happy New Year's Eve. And we also greet you on this day of Kwanzaa, Habarigani, which means what's the news? And the reply for today is Kumba, creativity. God gives us all creativity and God has blessed our prayer warrior this morning with a great deal of creativity in the way he expresses himself in the way that he preaches. Since 1983, he has been the pastor of Friendship West Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas, growing it from a membership of 100 members in 1983 to over 12,000 today. And of course, we all know that in 2003, he formed this very institution along with Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright Jr and the Reverend Dr. Ava Carruthers, this very institution, which has us gather every morning in the name of Samuel DeWitt Proctor, the Proctor Conference for this, our prayer-demic. He is also chair of the board. So immediately following our music ministry this morning, and once again, our minister of music is the wonderful Opal Staples here again on this New Year's Eve, the next voice you will hear to lead us to the throne of grace, the mercy seat, to take us out of this trip of a year, 2020, and lead us into the next will be none other 
than the Reverend Dr. Frederick Douglass Haynes III. Hear ye him. God for that phenomenal gift. Opal, you are a gift to the body of Christ and to our people. Gracious God of our weary, weary years and silent tears, thou who has 
brought us thus far along the way. We thank you and praise you for your abiding faithfulness and for your steadfast love. At the end of a year, a year of hell and heartbreak, loss and lament, we testify with the psalmist. If it had not been that the Lord who was on our side, we testify with the poet through many dangers, toils and snares we have already come. We testify with the gospel writer for every mountain you've brought us over, for every trial you've seen us through, for every blessing, hallelujah, for this, we give you praise. We praise you that you do take sides. You take sides with the vulnerable and the victimized. We praise you that we are still here in spite of the pandemics of COVID-19 and COVID-1619. We thank you that we've been able to do what our beloved ancestor Howard Thurman challenged us to do, and that is to ride the storm and remain intact. Yes, God, we thank you for our still here testimony. We are still here in spite of. We are still here. And for that, we thank you. We thank you that our beloved ancestor, Nanny Helen Burroughs, reassures us from eternity that as a people, we specialize in the holy impossible. Now, God, during this time of remembrance, reflection, reaffirmation, and recommitment, we pause to remember and pray for those whose hearts have been broken by this double pandemic. Even as we salute the spirits and legacies of those who have joined the ancestors and now rest with you. And so we pray for the families of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and the list goes on and on. And we remember them. We remember their families, but we thank you for the spirits, those spirits, oh God, who energize us with expectation and empower us with their determination so that we, oh God, will ensure that, to quote Dr. King, their unearned suffering becomes redemptive. We pray now for those who are on the front lines and we remember those who are involuntarily pushed to the front lines of this double pandemic because of the pre-existing condition of a nation born in racism and shaped by white supremacy. We recommit ourselves to embracing our creativity that you have generously gifted us with. Ah, oh God, we thank you that it is in the midst of the labor pains of catastrophe that you birth our creativity. So thank you for the spirit of Kuumba. Thank you. Dr. Karenga defines this principle as to do always as much as we can in the way we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. And so with that spirit of Kuumba, God, we pray that you will use us to creatively protect this planet that you have entrusted to us and use us to fight environmental injustice so that our people will not be plagued by toxic air and poison water. Oh God, help us to do our part to bend the universe toward justice. Oh God, give us the creativity to do our part, to stand in solidarity with our sisters and brothers in Georgia as they move toward this all important election, January 5th. And now God, as we close the door to this hell of a year of death dealing and lament and loss, give us now strength to endure, 
what lies ahead. Give us now faith to always look to the hills from whence cometh our help, knowing our help comes from you. Give us, O oh God, the creativity to make a new world out of this old world so that we, O oh God, will refuse to go back to normal, but give us that creativity that we, O oh God, may shape a new normal, a new normal characterized by justice rolling down as waters and righteousness as an ever flowing stream, a new normal where we, O oh God, elect politicians and representatives who do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, a new normal where we, O oh God, create the kind of church that is determined to unite in a holy wedlock, spiritual anointing with social activism, so that in the name of Jesus, we, O oh God, are anointed to preach good news to the poor, set the captives free, heal those who are broken, open the eyes of the blind, deliver the downtrodden, and proclaim the year of economic justice. This we ask in the matchless name of our Lord and liberator, our resurrected revolutionary, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen and Ashe. I'm not supposed to sing that song. There's a song that I love that I sang before um, that I'm gonna sing to you again, but I sing it in the form of a story. So listen to the words as we journey from this year entering into the next. When I made my start, for heaven, I could only find one way, a road that led me through some mountains and some valleys, a road not many folk would take but since i started traveling on my journey i've covered many many miles behind me Miles of sun and rain, miles of smiles and pain. The road's been rough, but I again would choose the same long winding road keeps leading me, oh, leading me, but up ahead I see a sign that points me straight ahead to victory. I know I must be traveling right, for I remember passing Calvary. And although it's dusty and it's old, 
For years it's bore the traveler's load and someday this road will turn to gold. Now there are some times when the rocks hurt my feet and my body burns from the sweat and the heat, yes. My strength completely drained and my face marks the pain. My back is bent from the strain. Oh, but I could turn back now and the road would still be there. But every mountain I've already climbed, I again would have to bear. So I can't turn back, cause someone might be using my tracks. I've got one more bin, and it just might be my roads in. Ooh, long winding roads keeps leading me. Keeps leading, leading me. But up ahead, I see a sign that points me straight ahead to victory. I know I must be traveling right, for I remember passing Calvary. And although it's dusty and it's old, for years it's bore the traveler's load. But someday this road will turn to gold. Someday I know it all. Someday this road will turn to gold. I do believe that. Someday this road will, will turn to turn to go turn. Amen, amen, amen. Folks, we invite you to visit our website, uh, sdpconference.info, uh, and no, okay. <laughs> On the sixth day of Kwanzaa, it is the day of creativity. And I wanna challenge each and every one of you to be creative in how we give back to our community but especially in how we give to this organization, the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. I challenge you to be creative with your, amongst your friends and your community to say, hey, if I give, you give too. That's why I'm challenging my friend, Jamar Boyd and Reverend Dontavious Drake to give when I give so that we may be able to have organizations last forever. And so you're asking, how do I give? Well, you give by going either on Givelify and searching for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference or sdpconference.info backslash invest and contribute. And if you want to get funky with it, why don't you put the theme of the day, Kumba? Remember, this is the last day of the year and we would really love your help. Habari Gani, Kumba. And thank you, Reverend Reeves, for that very special appeal. If all hearts and minds are clear, 
God, we ask you to receive in the cradle of your arms those who've already passed in 2020 from either this coronavirus or the cops violence, those who've outrun us to glory, please comfort and strengthen their loved ones with the assurance that the one you sent will bear their burdens and faithfully bring forth justice. Guide us to empty their tombs and resurrect those who've died by continuing our own freedom fighting to change the conditions which cause their deaths. And as we leave each other, as we leave 2020 behind, and head into a new year, Lord, you are our refuge. Let the ancestors linger on into the new year to guard our doors and render impassable our very thresholds to virus and violence, Ronin racism, proud boys and the police. In 2021, we know as always will be more than Corona, more than the cops, because we are more than conquerors. Thank you for our mighty prayer warrior today, his prayer today and throughout the year. And thank you for our minister of music, Opal Staples and all she has done on this broadcast throughout the year. And now in the name of the one with the woolen hair like ours, the blazing eyes like ours, the bronze feet and the deep nilotic voice like ours. And who, like all of these victims of the police-demic, George Floyd and Michael Brown and Sandra Bland and Breonna Taylor, breathe his last at the hands of the state. It is in our ancestors' name and in his name. We forget the former things. We do not dwell on the past. We are new creations in him. The old has gone, the new is here. And the people of God all together now said Ashe and Amen. God bless you all. Continue to keep watch through the night and meditate on God's promises. And we will see you back here tomorrow, bright and early to pray as we begin 2021. Have a great day.